Hi everybody, it's day 20 and I know it's daylight but it's quite blowy and rainy today as well and I want to light a candle because I just like to think about the way the light would be in the very darkness. And it adds beauty. It just makes everything somehow more beautiful. And I know it's not safe for children, but maybe if you're just sitting there watching this, you can light a candle too, particularly if it helps you think about someone else. Now, how are you going with following health and safety things? I want to take you to a little session Stan and I had in the kitchen because we were preparing something and so we recorded it. Let's take a look at this. Hi everyone, I'm Stan and as usual, I'm doing the cooking. And Hang on. What? You're here to help me. The cooking's going to look after itself, Stanley. Don't I do the cooking most days? Well, that's not the subject of our Pauline's place today. But All right. Now, okay, so we are getting some dinner ready. But Stan, today we're not just cooking for ourselves, but oh. we're going to prepare a meal for two people who live by themselves. Oh, really? So we have to do it differently, gloves on, because we're not, we can share our own germs in our bubble sort of thing and try and be clean. Okay. We, we both washed our hands with we sure sanitizer have. and now we're putting on gloves. Yep, hope I can get it on. Well, yeah, more, more or less. I don't think this glove has a place for my thumb. Oh yes it has. It has. Never mind. Never mind. Now we're going to do a baked dinner because we know that to prepare, Stan, listen, we're, to prepare a roast you that's hard for one person, so we Definitely. have to be very careful. All right, so the first job is that you need to take the potatoes out and dry them with the paper towel. Sure. Yep. And put them in the pan, and I'm going to put oil yep. on it. Yep. What about if I get paper on them? Well, you can just try a new paper towel. Okay. And Stan has to be careful that he doesn't touch other things. You know, we dropped a potato on the floor. I've picked it up and I'm going to put it aside. And I have to... Stan, hang on! Okay, we have a disaster here because he has just rubbed his hair, which he does a lot. So Stan, gloves off, please. And I am going to wash my hands, my gloves, because they'll touch other things. You have to not do that. We have to not touch our face, rub our hair and or anything because we're preparing for other people. And this is quite important. So all through my cooking, I have to make sure that this food, even when it's cooked, is touched by tongs, which I'll have here. And then when I deliver it, now that's another matter too. Thank you. Well, my calendar today said that uh, if you're given limes, rearrange the letters and turn it into the word smile, which is sort of a cute thing, isn't it? Well, I haven't got any limes to show you, but I've got a smile. Now, this will leave you with a smile. Two friends, Mia and Scarlett, leave you with these messages. Mia says, be patient, be kind, be helpful, be caring. And Scarlett said, you know what I've learned about the Easter story? I've learned that love never dies and life never ends. Life never ends, love never dies. No one ever has been able to put the light that fights evil out. God be with you. I'll see you tomorrow.